Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you're truly loaded into the map, oh, apparently there's loot around. Excellent. This is scrap metal. More scrap metal. More scrap metal. I don't really need scrap metal. Steam gauge assembly. What else? Oh, this tool cabinet. It has it has an average lock. I think we can deal with that. Terminal access card and more scrap metal. Paint sensor module, sensor module scrap, scrap stuff, shite. Uh, energy cells. Weren't you in a different position last time? Um Weren't you on the ground? I don't even know anymore. Alright, then we have a metal box with nothing of interest. Stuff, 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 and maybe even stuff. Alright. Still think there should be something around in this direction. Where is it? Hmm. I know I want something from here, but I don't know what it is. This pilot light still, but I don't think I can craft the shish kebab. Shash kebab. So that's an issue over there. Let's just scrap, 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 and nothing but scrap. Didn't I want something? There should be something. Uh. Okay, there's filing cabinets with ammunition. Good. Metal box with caps. Caps, three more money. Nice. More bottle caps. And dash tray, of course. Empty desks. Got them cigarettes. Lying congressional style. Uh, I thought that was supposed to be over there somewhere. Maybe not then. Uh, a Hydra, sure why not. And... What else do we have? What does your corpse contain? More energy cells. I'm not actually... Intending to use energy weapons this time around. So I'm not entirely sure why I'm collecting the ammo. There is the benefit of it not actually using up any... Weight, because we're not on hardcore. And I'm sure there's other other, benef other benefits as well, uh, such as having ammo when I might potentially need it because my might break every single one of my weapons because that's how I roll. That's right. Hmm. Is that it? Yes, so now uh, let's head back outside. Should be safe enough place. Oh no, it's Granny's Angels. Lucky what we have here, ladies. Another unsuspecting pots. I got the trunk. Hey. Here's Granny's. Here's, here's Granny's. Right. At least it's not the baby snatchers. Monty Python, why are you here? That's a switchblade, not a running pin. Do you want a running pin, Boone? I'm from the facial expression. I'm going to assume no. I think he thinks this situation was all very, very silly. Oh, they were named the Malefic Maud, Rancorous Roof, and Irate Ida. More muggers, I suppose. Bottle cap, sure. Hmm. Right. Long story short, this is not the way to the central free side. As much as I was hoping for it to be. Guess we need to head the long way. 
The NCR can keep on doing what they're doing. Maybe even when I talk to King, they'll actually look into coordinating that stuff. Because... King won't like what has been done to an envoy. This King's the honorable sort, you know? The nice sort. The non-shit sort. You don't even have to kill him. Oh, also we're back home. Or was that our home? One of these. It was a house claimed for my own. This is Hello. Silver Rush. That's Kingman's barbecue. Oh, that's close there. Atomic Wrangler. We have business there. But, uh, I think it can wait for a little bit. Or we can go talk there first and then head to... Let's finish our business with the king. And then we'll go on a happy trails expedition. Dead. Really dead. Stop by the nice. There are times when you just want someone really, 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 really dead. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? The NCR is distributing supplies in a building down by the old train station. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Uh, they're only handing out supplies to NCR citizens. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. They said someone was sent to discuss the issue with you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They said what? They said the man was severely beaten and barely survived. Huh, that would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstand. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Play it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell him I'm willing to cooperate. All right. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Uh, this was the path, right? Yeah. Lasers, plasma, pistols, Wanna grenades. Get lucky? We've got it all. Yes, yes, yes. Silver Rush and Wrangler and... No, the Lugo store is also closed. Such a shame. At least we have our bed. Uh, yeah, here it is. Our bed can wait there. Alright, who should I talk to? That's a dead king. Ooh, nice. That's really, really cheap. Fuck that shit. Like, really cheap. Ah. You there, keep your hands where we can see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Draw a weapon and we will fire. Where, where's... Where's your commanding officer? Oh, there she is. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? The king wants to help with the relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know an envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Okay. Oh, there's more corpses here. Nice. And it's still only the ammo that's actually worth anything. Oh, wait, no, wait, no mind. That submachine gun is pretty good. Can I use the revolver to repair the submachine gun? Because I just remembered... I can use cheap things to repair expensive things now. Where is that? Uh, then we need the submachine gun repair with a revolver. Hey, that's right, that's now <laughs> twice as expensive as it was. Thanks to three really shitty magnums. Nice. I love it when a plan comes together. Also, we should really go back to King and tell him everything is A alright and base series is shit. Well, long story short. 
Maybe I should have talked to Baser as well, but on the other hand, Baser is shit. Hmm. 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 Not sure. It might be the end why I didn't want to pay Baser. Nope. Well. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. And I leveled up. Excellent. Um, do I go medicine? I don't think I go medicine just yet. We'll, go, we'll do the speech and... Uh, what could you use with some points? Uh, let's give a point to... Wait. Did I get 16 points then? I thought this was supposed to get 17. I did they already use one? Hmm. Okay, well, let's put that to sneak then. Personal space meaning anything to you guy? No. And I was supposed to ask you to get along with the NCR. And since we are going to align with the NCR, I think, this we can try. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Uh, can I ask you again to stop the violence against NCR citizens? Whoa, that's a doozy. Truth be told, I don't even know if I can pull something like that off. The kings will follow your readership. Damn straight they will. It's some of the other locals that I'm worried about. On second thought, if I can whip this band of hooligans into obedience, a stray tough guy or two shouldn't be a problem. Okay, you've got a deal. No more violence against the NCR on my watch. But this makes us even, you hear? Sure thing. Uh, also, about Rex. Things have been a lot better since you... Yeah, uh... Where did you get the... Mm, about Rex here? What about him? Is there something wrong with him? He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out. And they said his brain is bad or something. Can they do anything? No. They said they don't have the tools to help him. Can I help somehow? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Alright, I'll give it a try. See ya. Alright, I'll see you later. Later. Alrighty, then I'll stop by Wrangler. And see if I can fix up a deal for Farkas. You and want someone dead? Yeah, yeah, I don't really want, need someone dead white right now. And uh, then we'll ask about Rex as well. That should work. Hello, Kurt. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? The followers need to find someone to trade with for supplies. Really now? Well, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. I might be able to work something out. Good. We can supply them with all the medics they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. I'll go speak to them. Bye. All right then. Oh, we should also go and uh, pick up a friend of mine. Make a brief stop at the atomic rank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, then, just, just... Come to Mick and Ralph yeah, 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 you shut up. Needs. Let's just go to Farkas and talk to her. It's getting dark again. Might be time for it to get dark again. Yeah, it's 7pm. Close enough. Hey. 
One of my aides said you got into the Lucky 38. If you see someone by the name of Emily near there, we would like you to work for us. Um, I think I found someone who will be able to cover your supplies. That's phenomenal. Who did you find? The Garrett twins. They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? Um, with a surplus of supplies, you could use your caps and influence to expand. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. The King said you could tell me more about his robotic dog. Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. The King brought him here for treatment then? Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. So you can't heal him? No. Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. Is there anyone who could do all that? There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Right, I'll see then. I'll go, I mean. Right. Yeah. I don't say anything. Let's tell the king Rex is gonna be needing additional resources. Yeah. There we go. Namely, a new brain Come and this for all your shopping needs. And I think I have just a brain in mind. Well, by that I mean I, I don't mean my brain. That's the only brain I can actually keep in mind, but you know. Oh, he's in his room. Very well then. You can also grab a nap in his bed. That will do. It's like a plan or something. This layout though. So weird. Right, the king is... The king is not actually here. The king is somewhere else. Right, I, whatever then. Let's go find the king. He's apparently in this direction. Maybe over... Maybe I just didn't notice him. Hey. Going to the Wrangler tonight. Can't. King's got me busy on something. Am I on the correct quest? No. So the King is over here. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Yeah. Julie said the man in Jacobstown could treat Rex. She said what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here. And you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor. And I'll lend him to you. What do you say? Absolutely. I'll see that it gets better. I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here. If you're going to be traveling together. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. 
I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you will see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect him as you would me. So that's why you growled at me. Let's... Let's be... Let's do the talky thing. Alright, oh you've got to think about people with hats. We're on the same s the same side, settle down. Okay, so he no longer minds my hat, I hope. Boon, let's hope he doesn't mind your hat either. Yeah. And then I think we'll call it here. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. That looks like the passage, and that looks like a fade. Yeah, that uh, certainly looks like a fade rift, so we have to go there and close it. Boon, I don't have the mark. Do you have the mark?